Welcome, Kenneth Brown here. Focus is Nisho Half. And I play the position from a, a lot from the bottom, so I, I kind of understand what makes it work. And I want to give some some tips or principles for passing it. So let's go into position. I'm going to play on top. And Josh is helping me to that, right? So look, man, this is one of the things I, I wish people knew. Well, I wish they didn't know it when they play against me, but you know, other people who don't play against me. This knee matters more than this knee. You know, the reason is because when it's slightly elevated, it's really hard for me to lift my leg. It's hard for me to force a knee cut. It's hard for me to do a lot of things I want to do. Also, this, this anchor on the hip matters because it stops him from really tilting me strongly. So like, it gives me an anchor that kind of stabilizes my weight. If I didn't have it, and he just lifted his knee, I start losing miles and I have to post, or I get sweat. But with the anchor, he does the same thing. Where he like lifts, it keeps me stable. That's the first thing. You know? This is gonna be a lot of principle, because I like principle. But once I have anchor, I have to think about either lifting this knee or pinning it. And the first thing we're gonna do is pin it. Because when I pin it, what happens is I can lift my knee. But when I lift the knee, I don't want to do it with this knee down. So as I pin, that leg comes up. You know, my weight is still kind of back, so if he tries to bump me, he tries to move me, it's hard. I'm still stable. I can, I can adjust. And that's also why my leg is bent instead of straight. When it's straight, if he starts tilting me, like I lose a lot of base and balance. So as the, the sequence of breaking this position now is anchor, pin, leg up, ideally move it like a little step forward so I can lean my weight a little back. Then, knee comes up, all right? Now look, I can knee cut here, and I'm kind of exaggerating my, my pressure, it wouldn't be leaning this far forward. I can knee cut here if I go down. So like my weight's back, I kind of shift my knee, it goes over his shin, and my hip smashes his top hook, and then I hug the body. Now what I'm looking for at this point is this arm, right? Because this is, uh, this is the arm that allows him to really rotate his body. So it's one of two things I do. Either, depending on where his hand is, I'll pin it to the mat, or, well, there's actually three things. I'll push it to his chest, or I'll lift it to the sky. Anything that gives me control of it. Right? And that, as I go, what I'm doing is I'm sliding my hip right across his knee. And as soon as my, my hip passes, I walk him back down, flatten him out. I'll break that down again. The thing is, man, it's, it's all principle, right? Like, this is a tactic. This is a, a very specific way of passing a guard, but it's, it's based on breaking the structure of his position. So, like, I have my anchor, I pin the knee, I bring my knee up, slice, 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 hit, smash. Underhook. I can also I can pin I can pin that hand to the mat. He tries to move. Or I can lift the hand to the sky. Same thing. Anchor, pin, leg up. get nothing else, understand how important that knee is. Like it makes a massive difference. If I do not pin it, nothing else I do matters. Nothing. Like if I did, I did everything else, look, this is no position. Like if he starts lifting, like nothing else matters if I don't pin it. And when I pin it, I won the position to some degree. Because not only does it make his, his hole lighter, it makes it easier for me to move, but it kills his offense. So, like, if nothing else, get that. 